Step between your opponent's legs. You must take over your opponent's personal space quickly so you, that he cannot step back and recover his balance. To counter this technique, block your opponent's elbow strike to the side while maintaining a grip on his wrist. Push his elbow over and down while keeping hold of his wrist. You may take a small step back to give you more time to block the elbow strike. Control his forearm by controlling his wrist and elbow. In this variation, push your opponent's elbow the other direction, pushing it down, then circling up to twist his arm. Place your shoulder against his shoulder, locking his arm. Extend his elbow back to pull him off balance. Pivot and step, turning your opponent so that his back faces your side. Push his elbow up as you pull down on his wrist. Here the opponent completes his elbow strike and grabs your arm under his arm for a takedown. Grab his hand without releasing the striking arm. Wrap his grappling hand around his torso and extend his striking arm. Raise his extended wrist while pressing down with your other arm. Control his extended arm at the wrist and shoulder while restraining his other arm by wrapping it underneath his arm. Once you have locked your opponent's arm, lifting his wrist forces him to lean forward and lose his balance. As he steps forward to regain his balance, spin him around so that he fails. Spin your opponent around you so that he must travel farther than you for each circle. Make him pivot around you to maintain your advantage. Here your opponent follows the elbow strike by pushing your elbow down instead of grabbing your arm. Pivot with his push to chop his neck. Wrap both of his elbows with your chopping arm. Squeeze his elbows together and lift up to uproot his balance. Release your backhand and push his shoulder down while maintaining control of his elbows. Pivot to alleviate the pressure on your arm and spin into the chop. Once you lift your opponent off balance, Push him over with your other hand. To counter your opponent grabbing both of your wrists, raise your wrists to extend your opponent's fingers. Grab his wrists and twist his palms up so that his thumbs face away from his body. Raise his hands, locking his arms. Pull his thumbs toward you while pushing the other side of his wrist away from you. After you twist your opponent's wrist, focus on one arm by grabbing that elbow. Push wrist to his shoulder, then push his elbow up. Step behind his leg to trip him. While pressing his wrist to meet his shoulder, push up and back on his elbow. Push his elbow past his hips to upset his balance. Trap his leg so that he cannot step back to regain his balance. In this variation, raise only one wrist, breaking his grip. Step behind him, extending your free arm to chop across his neck. Use his neck chop to take him down. Once you break his grip, follow his arm straight up to his neck. Trap his arm with your body. In this variation, break one grip on one side. Push that arm with your forearm so that you can grab his forearm with your other hand. Maintain contact with his fingers. Then push them down towards his elbow to hyperextend his wrist. When you break his grip, follow the extension of his fingers with your wrist. 
grab his forearm and press the back of his fingers to the back of his forearm. Raise your wrist to break his grip to grab his forearm. Here, you break his grips consecutively. Fold his arm and step in to get better leverage. To take him down, step behind him to lock his leg. Move directly from pushing his fingers down to chopping across his neck. To counter this technique, extend one hand and retract the other to regain control of the momentum. Re-establish your grip with your retracted hand. Chop across his neck with your extended hand. When your opponent breaks your grip, follow his momentum to grab his wrist and chop his neck. Pull his arm while you chop forward. Push against his neck to take him down. To counter this technique, protect your neck. Maintaining contact with your opponent, re-establish your grips. Twist his retracted arm from underneath and cross it over his other arm. While keeping his extended arm locked, push his twisted arm down over it. When your opponent extends and retracts his arms, follow his momentum to cross his elbow and tie up his arms. By tying up his arms, you can lock his entire body. Set your stance and lean forward to bring his whole body forward. To counter grabbing your wrist with his opposite hand from behind, Press into his grip while stepping back into him. Grab his elbow with your free hand while pressing down with your other hand. Push his elbow up as you press the back of his hand to his forearm. Use your grabbed wrist to hyperextend your opponent's wrist. Maintain a lock on your opponent's arm by restraining his elbow. To counter this technique, add your free hand to your grasp of your opponent's wrist. Do not let go of his wrist when he attempts to hyperextend your wrist. Pull his arm across your shoulder, hyperextending his elbow and shoulder. Follow the momentum of your opponent's attempt to grab your elbow. Bring his arm across your shoulder with his palm facing away from his body. To counter your opponent grabbing your wrist with his same hand, pivot and raise your arm to break his grip. Grab his wrist and twist his arm. Step in and add your free hand to push his elbow. Twist his arm until it locks. Press down on his elbow while we're restraining his wrist. To counter this technique, pivot and step to alleviate the torque on your arm. Grab his wrist while placing your elbow over his other arm. Turn your body so he loses grip on your elbow. Push up on his chin while keeping hold of his wrist to hyperextend his neck. Follow the momentum of your opponent's attempt to push down on your elbow. Pivot your body so he cannot secure the lock on your arm. In this variation, grab your opponent's wrist and twist his arm over to expose his underarm. Instead of grabbing his wrist, grab the soft underside of his upper arm. Pinch deep into the gap between the biceps and triceps muscles to reach the brachial artery and nerves.
Twist your opponent's wrist so that he lifts his elbow. Maintain your grip on his wrist to control his arm so that you can focus on the pinch. To counter this technique, do not let your opponent bend your elbow. Follow the momentum of his arm twist to break his pinch on the underside of your arm. Grab the underside of his arm and pinch. Penetrate the gap between his muscles to reach his nerves and arteries. Push his arm up to upset his balance. By stepping forward with his push, you can take him down. As you begin your arm twist, you are open for a punch. Intercept this punch with your free hand. Press down on the back of his arm to hyperextend his elbow. Grab his punch so that both of your palms end facing the same direction when you push down on his arm. 